Welcome to Christian Fitness. I'm your host, Robert, along with my co-host and beautiful wife, Lori. And today's program, in case you didn't guess, it's going to be a band show. But you don't necessarily have to have a band. You can do almost all these exercises without one, so there's no excuse. Get off your couch and exercise with us. And today you are going to love this. We have a special treat, an anointed singer, Brian Bates, and you are going to love his music. Yeah, he already started singing before we even got in. We barely introduced him and he's already singing. But uh, yeah, you're going to be blessed today with this music. All right, round number one, we just like to stretch before we start. So let's, first thing, I just want to hold it behind our backs. If you have a band, great. You can use the band to stretch and open up your chest area. If you don't have a band, just bring your arms back and relax. Good, open it up as much as you can. Now, while you've got it opened up, go ahead and lean to the left. I'm not going to talk quite as much today because I really want you to listen and enjoy Brian Bates' music. Good, let's go to the right. And just lean back. Good, forward. Yeah, and you can bring him, let him fall up over your head. Really stretch out your shoulders. Hold your stomach in. Yeah. Good. All right, bring the band around to the front. And we want to bend down again. And you can put the band under your toes or behind your ankles or whatever you want. And just try to keep your lower back here flat. And take your chest down to the floor. It's nice and relaxed. It's really going to stretch your hamstrings. We're going to work the full body today with this band show. All right, we're going to start on our calves, work our way up to the thighs, stomach. We're going to work some upper body and work a little bit of arms. Beautiful song. Really enjoy this. Good. Just twist to your left side now. Your feet stay where they were, and you just twist your upper torso. We just want to make sure everything's nice and loose so you're stretched out. Some of these exercises today, the band provides quite a bit of resistance. Stretching can help you avoid injuries, strains, tears. Good. Other side, you will rotate over to the right. Yeah, you can see Lori's using her band. It can help a little bit if you need it. If you don't have a band, don't worry. Get off your couch anyway and get up and exercise with us. Every burden I've ever cared. Love these stretches. Very important to warm up and cool down after I'm the show. Even, even after the show's over, don't forget your cool down. All right. Excellent. Really enjoy that song by Brian. All right, our fitness facts today. We're going to have three fitness facts, and we're going to focus on Brian. We actually got some feedback from him. What do you have to say, Lori? Well, and they're in the form of questions and answers, so they are really great. And we asked him, how do you stay active on the road or traveling? And he said, running. He loves to work out, so this worked out so great for us. That's what I love about it. All you need is shoes on the open road. And he had such a great sense of humor. He said, and well, of course, shorts and a t-shirt, too. So he has such a great sense of humor, we just loved it. Well, that's, neat, that's like the bands, too. It's something you can take on the road with you. That's These right. are easy. Throw them in your suitcase. He just throws a pair of tennis shoes and shorts and a t-shirt. But yeah, he's got a great sense of humor, and we'll share some more of that later. Uh, but if you ever get a chance to go hear him in concert, go get his CD, get a chance to talk with him. Really, really neat, personable guy. Great sense of humor. All right, round number two. Should be nice and stretched out. We're going to use our bands. If you don't have a band, you can still do this one. But we're going to start at our calves. Beginners, I want you to just step on the band. And we're going to do one minute per leg. So just raise up on the right calf and come back down. Yeah, this one requires a lot of balance. It's going to strengthen your calf and your ankles. Intermediates, I want you to pull on the band a little bit and elevate your foot, uh, maybe a foot off the ground. Do three or four and come back down. Advanced, stretch it about waist high. And we're going to go continuous up until the minute mark. And then at one minute, we're going to switch legs. If you lose your balance like I just did, that's fine. Just put your foot down and start again. My heart beats the rhythm I really like this song, too. Your heart beats with the rhythm of the heart. That is so awesome. Yeah, keep an eye on that clock. We're going to switch feet at one minute. You doing okay? You cramping, honey? No, okay? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just trying to do both exercises and trying to remember which <laughs> yeah, one I just switch. did. Now we'll do the left calf. So beginners, you just keep your heel on the ground. And just raise up. Yeah, do a couple. Good. Your toe, point your toe forward. Thank you for reminding me that. <laughs> good. Intermediates, a foot or two off the ground, and you do three or four, and then rest. So use the band to support it. And like I said, you don't need a band for this one. You can just hold your foot out there normal. For advance, you go about waist high, three or four. If you have the band, go ahead and use it. 
If not, there's no excuse today. So advance, we get about waist high and just go continuous. This takes a lot of balance, so it's nice to have the bands because it does help you. Don't forget to hold your stomach in while you do these. It really works the ankle as well because of the balance that it requires. All right, oh, that's a really pretty song by Brian Bates. Very talented. All right, Lori, we call it Christian Fitness for a reason, because we always get into the Word of God. What's today's scripture? Today's scripture is Psalm 103, 1 through 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives no all your iniquities, like you. who heals all your diseases, no who redeems your life from destruction, you. who crowns you with loving kindness and Jesus, tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth Lord. with good things so that your youth is renewed There's like no the eagles. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Oh, we should always be singing you. praises to the Lord. He always wants to hear us say, Jesus, thank you, Lord. You Bless you, Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. That is the Lord's provision to us. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless him. Amen, amen. And out of the psalm, it's great to just get in and read a psalm a day, read a proverb a day. Yeah. <laughs> read amen. It's great for you. All yeah. right, round number three, we're going to do squats. So put your band under both feet. If you don't have a band, great, you can do this anyway. Beginners, you just want to squat down and keep your elbows straight, all right? You don't bend your arms up. Keep your elbows nice and locked and come straight down. Good. Like you're going to have a seat and then you stand up. But don't let your knees go past your toes. <laughs> okay, so as Lori comes down, she wants to sit backwards more. Yeah, excellent. Good, Lori. Don't let your knees go past your toes. Intermediates, do three or four quick ones. And then you can take a break. Rest for a second. Three or four quick ones. And you take a break. Advanced. I like to grab way down on the band, get a little more resistance. Just go continuous the rest of the time. If you aren't familiar with bands, the different colors are different strengths. The blue is, gives you a little bit more resistance, a little more tension. Lori's yellow band, a little bit less resistance. And then of course, depending on where you grab the band, is gonna increase or decrease your resistance. This time I grabbed way down, because we're working a larger muscle group. A thigh, a larger muscle group. So I was able to, you know, get a foot or so down on the band. One thing that's really important to remember while you're doing these is keep your posture very straight. You don't want to bend over. You're still pretending to sit in a chair. Yeah, keep your spine nice and straight. Keep your knees behind your toes. Those who dance for me with beautiful Love this music. If you go get a CD, which we'll put his website up later, but you get the CD, there's an explanation about each song on there. Hands up in the air, at a secret you and heaven share. All right, you join us in the kitchen for nutrition tips. Today's nutrition tip is on carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the fuel for the body and can provide instant energy. Think of carbs as the gas for your car. When you run out of carbs, you run out of energy and exhaustion sets in. It's recommended by the American College of Sports Medicine that 55 to 60% of your total calories come from carbs. That can go up to 65% for athletes. Some great high carb snacks are apples, grapes, and beans. Others are bagels, fruit, smoothies, and popcorn. Different activities have different demands for carbs. Walking at a brisk pace requires about 17% of the energy from carbs, while sprinting uses about 72%. But you can still burn the same amount of carbs since you typically walk longer than you sprint. Our nutrition tip for today is make sure and get plenty of carbs, especially if you're pushing yourself really hard during the Christian Fitness Workout. Did you like some of those carbohydrates, especially the healthy ones? Make sure you get plenty of those. If you're going to work out with us extra hard, you're going to need them. All right, this one we're going to call a 45 degree back bend. So put the band under your feet for beginners. I want you to put the bands together and grab them right around your belly button. Yeah, with your thumbs up toward the ceiling, right around your belly button. And you're just going to lean back at a 45 degree angle. So Lori's going to point her elbow and her shoulder at the camera. 
Yeah, good. And lean back a little bit, really keep that stomach nice and tight. So we worked our calves, we worked our thighs, we're working our way up to the stomach. Intermediates and advanced, I like to take them on individual legs. So keep one in each hand and just do the 45 bend, but don't get come back up to the middle. So intermediates, let's say you do three or four, three, four, and come up and rest. So you do one, two, three, four, come up and rest. Advance, we're gonna pull them up a little higher, lean back, and stay back the whole time. Just rotate back and forth. And really put tension on the bands. Give yourself resistance. Keep the stomach nice and tight the whole time. Love this exercise. It's so good for you. Oh, the song is a new day. New day, every day. The day that the Lord has made. I do not want to sing these. <laughs> yeah, he is such a neat artist. He shared a lot of things with us. We don't have time on the show today, but you know, we talked to him about, you know, Brian, what are your hobbies? And his hobby was exercising. <laughs> he loves to exercise. So we'll tell you a little bit more on his fitness facts coming up. Don't forget to hydrate yourself during these, you know, before you work out and during your workouts and after. Very, very important to hydrate. All right. Lori, our next fitness fact, we're talking about Brian Bates today, of course, our guest music artist. And uh, give us a little more information on Brian. Brian said that just start somewhere. Find something that you like to do. With someone you like, once a week, you need to start. And once you feel the benefits of it, um, you'll continue to want to work out. And that increase will continue markedly within weeks. So, you know, continue to keep working out make room for your schedule and exercise is a lifestyle like we say in this show it's a lifestyle not just a to-do thing so it is a lifestyle and he agreed with that with us on that fact so continue to exercise find a workout partner and keep moving yeah that's a great great point just start somewhere just yeah. do whatever you can if you don't have a band with us today just do whatever you can this next one you can do with or without a band so brian we appreciate that feedback we're going to hear again from him later and of course, we're going to listen to his music the entire show today. Next, again, just like we did with the squats, you're going to put the band under both feet, and we're going to bend to the side. So beginners, just bend to the side. Good. You can do maybe two or three, and then take a break. Two or three, take a break. Intermediates, go a little quicker, three or four. And then you'll take a break, three or four. And take a break. Advanced, once again, we're going to grab a little lower on the band. We're gonna go continuous. Minute 25, just go continuous. And once again, keep your elbows locked out, okay, so your arms are straight. Don't bend your arms up. Oh, that hurts just doing that. <laughs> keep your arms nice and straight and locked out. I'm gonna make sure I don't hit my head with you. <laughs> yeah, and this is the title cut. World's Collide by Brian. A lot of his inspiration comes from World Harvest and some of the mission trips that he's done to Africa with Project Bo, where they help with water and food. But it really touched his heart. He and some friends went over to Africa. You know, it just really changed his perspective on what's important in life. Rescue me, remind me. On his website, you read the songs, read about all the songs. They are incredible. Continuing to work the stomach, this is going to work your obliques on the side. And then we'll work our way up the rest of the body, which is arms in a minute. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of Lori's favorites. I'm beginning to think half just about all these workouts are my favorite. Worlds Collide, great song by Brian. All right, we encourage you to go to our website, that's christianfitnesstv.com, or you can get to us through the Christian Television Network site, which is ctnonline.com. And there's a little link on there, you can give us your feedback, send us an email. We heard from somebody recently, Lori, from Georgia, what did they have to say? 
And yes, she did. She said, I came across your exercise program this morning around 6.30 a.m. and I'm very interested in starting up an exercise with you all. I love that, you all. I also look forward to feeding my soul with God's word and the wonderful way you guys incorporate his word in between workout sessions. So at your convenience, please email me at the airing schedule for your sh show. And you know what, that just, that blessed us because we do, we pray for every single person that sends us an email and we wanna hear from you and we will, we'll respond to your questions about where the shows are airing. We will send you a schedule and we try to answer your questions. Please don't send us medical questions because we are not physicians, but please send us emails. Okay, next round. Yeah, thank you for that email from Georgia. Now, did she say you all or y'all? Yeah, or she said, said you all, all but whichever, right. I thought it was precious. <laughs> next one, shoulder <laughs> rolls. Go ahead and put your band under both feet. And at one minute, we're gonna switch. So to start with, Lori, for beginners, grab at the very tip of your bands and just roll your shoulders backwards. Good, big circles. You get a lot of tension. And just keep going, as many as you can do in this one minute. And at one minute, we're gonna switch and roll our shoulders forward. Intermediates, you grab a little lower or use a stronger band. Advanced, once again, we grab a little lower. Big circles, really work the shoulders. Oh, I'm gonna be quiet, because I like this song. I look to the sky. 300 times, I look to the sky. And cry out for healing. Cry out for healing. For my troubled mind. Good, coming up on one minute. Now we're gonna rotate forward. Yeah, so big. The bigger the circles, the better. You know, you might say, that doesn't seem like much, Robert. Well, then grab a little lower on your band and <laughs> keep going. So I'm already feeling this. Okay, so intermediates. Do two or three. Advance, grab a little lower, and let's go a little quicker. This feels so good. How do you love me? Oh, let me count the way. Do you love me? Show me your love in my weakest place. When my strength is at an end, I come running again 300 times. I want to sing along with it. I've got to control myself and not sing with it. Well, we're trying to be real quiet during the shows that we have music instead of talking all the time so you can enjoy it. All right, 300 times I look to the sky, looking for my healing. I oh, love that song. All right, Lori, you shared the scripture with us earlier. It was a song. Let's, let's listen to it again. Psalm 103, 1 through 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. That is the Lord's provisions for healing, for renewed strength. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless him. Take that provision that he's given you for whatever it is you need because that is what you can have. Amen. Amen. All right, round number seven. There's only nine rounds, so we're getting close. We've been working our way up the body, just work the shoulders and the neck. Now we're going to work just the triceps. So let's start with the left hand overhead. I want your elbow right next to your ear, and you're just going to straighten your arm. Yeah, and you can hold it with a straight arm behind you for beginners, or up here if you like. But keep the elbow close to the head and just extend. Do as many as you can. At one minute, we're going to switch. So really, this is the same exercise for intermediate, beginner, and advanced. It really doesn't matter. You just use a tighter band or grab further down on your band if you want an extra workout. I like to go as fast as I can on this. You really burn out the tricep. But we get to switch in a minute, so we've only got 13 seconds left. Might as well really exhaust the muscle. <laughs> Even when I don't understand you and I will pray with you. Okay, one minute, let's switch. Rotate your arms over. Elbow tight to the head. 
and just come up straight. Yeah, don't get the elbow way out to the side out here. We want to keep it right next to the head. Really isolate the tricep. Nice good form on this. You can feel that burn. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing with, you know, a lot of these exercises we do for two minutes. Just one minute of just isolating your tricep like this. <laughs> You're going to feel it. There is no Brian bass no music today. Oh, there is no distance. I love it. Yeah, go to his website, brian-bates.com. Read some of the information about the missions project he's involved with. As a matter of fact, this disc, this CD, 5% of all the proceeds go to the mission work. So buy a couple. Buy some for presents. Yes. <laughs> All right, Lori, we've talked about Brian. He shared some funny things with us about running and make sure you wear shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> what else did he have to say? Well, he said, do you exercise or work out? Well, we asked him, do you exercise or work out a particular area to help you with your profession? And his, his answer was overall fitness via cardio and resistance training has a huge overall benefit as a singer, specifically breath support, energy, core strength, posture, and endurance. And you know, that's so true. I mean, you think about a singer, it's very important for them to have endurance and that core support. I mean, that was so, such great information. So, I mean, I never really thought, I thought about it, but didn't think about it. Yeah, we always talk about building up this yeah. core, this core strength, and for his breath support as a singer. Yeah. And you can hear he's a wonderful, wonderfully anointed singer. And one of the interesting things that we didn't uh, get to include in one of those fitness facts, he says both his parents, they can't sing a tune, they can't carry a tune at all. <laughs> so it must not be hereditary. <laughs> all right, let's stand on the bands again. This round number eight, getting close, only two rounds left. This is gonna be great for those of you that work on a computer a lot. These are wrist curls. We just want you to pull your arms up, keep a 90 degree angle, and you're just gonna rotate your wrists only. Okay, so just the wrist, really isolate the wrist. And at one minute, we're gonna switch, we're gonna roll the wrist over and go the other direction. So this is great for carpal tunnel. It's also great to build up wrist strength. Any of you that, you know, if you're an athlete or you have a child that's an athlete, if they play baseball, this is a great forearm exercise. To help them build up some bat speed. It's good for a lot of sports really have to hold on to your pants too. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't let go of one yet today. It usually does happen, so be careful. You cramping? You feeling good? No, I feel good. I mean, I'm used <laughs> to doing this, but man, I Okay, good. You. One minute, now we're gonna switch. So just drop it down, bring it up with your palms facing down, and you're gonna raise up that way. So reverse wrist curls. Yeah, I gotta get a better grip, it's about to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to drop it. So yeah, just really focus on your wrists. Keep your elbows at 90 degrees. Don't let your elbows move at all. And just work the wrists. One thing I've done is I have put my um, wrists or my arms on my hips, and that's helped give me some support so that I don't drop them. What I like to do if it starts to cramp is just hold it up for three or four. Instead of doing as much flexion, you can just hold it there. Do an isometric. Well, it's not really an isometric because you've got a lot of resistance, but... That's a good tip. Yeah, and just hold it up there for the last five. Oh, there we go. Gently, gently, gently let it go on <laughs> one foot or the other. Because these, these have a lot of elasticity. They can, uh, yeah, they can really get you. <laughs> right, we encourage you to go to our website, christianfitnesstv.com. Got some great stuff on there. Um, our nutrition tips are on there, those little one-minute roll-ins. You can go on there and click on those and watch those and send a link to a friend and share some of those with. We've got some on there. Soda. Oh, that's What's your right. favorite? What's your favorite nutrition tip? I think soda because it, a lot of people always forget about how much water they're supposed to have and how not to drink sodas and replace, you know, other fluids, which most important is water. But that and my, my favorite thing is the Salvation Call. It's on our website. So that, that is my favorite because I have such a heart for people to receive Jesus Christ. And go to Brian Bates' website while yes. we're talking about websites, brian-bates.com and support his ministry. He just, 
as I said, 5% of those proceeds from that CD sales goes to missions. And uh, he's just got an incredible, incredible story. And we appreciate him letting us use his music today. We appreciate Janet Bozeman at Bozeman Media. Okay, that enough <laughs> missions? Okay. <laughs> Round number nine, last one. These are gonna be bicep curls. I think we've worked every other part of the body. Might as well work our biceps. So beginners, hold it close to the tip and just one arm at a time. Just left arm and then the right arm. And I want you to actually hold it out to the side. A lot of times, you know, you may do bicep curls to the front. We wanna do them to the side, but keep your wrist nice and tight. Yeah, don't let your wrist flex this way. Keep your wrist nice and tight. Yeah, and out to the side. Good, yeah, excellent, Lori. Keep that wrist nice and tight. Good, just one arm at a time. Intermediates, do both arms, and then you can rest. Oh, I love this song. He actually counts during the song, so I want to be quiet. Advance both sides as fast as you can. Just burn it out to the last, what, minute eight? And we'll enjoy this song. Good, you can go with the rhythm of the music. <laughs> He's counting too fast, I'll spend a minute <laughs> shall be saved. So if you have a question about that, call on the name of the Lord. No Pray this prayer like with me. You. Lord Jesus, Jesus. No I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Jesus, I know that you died on the cross for me. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name. amen. When you There's call no on the name of the Lord, that you. means you are a whosoever that called on the name of the Lord and you are saved. So know that Jesus, you've done that. Yeah. Are you a whosoever? That's, That's right. what we like to ask people. Are you a whosoever? We thank you so much for joining us today. We thank Brian Bates for this beautiful song. This is the last cut on the CD. Beautiful, beautiful song. We always close our program with 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. Yeah.